back to the channel today we are having chilies you guys i'm so freaking hungry you cannot even imagine i've waited all day i've been craving ribs and what i have for you is i like dry rub i do not like sauce on my ribs you guys at all so i have baby back ribs with the dry rub i also have some texas loaded french fries these are onion blossoms, and then, or no, they call them onion petals, and then I have their Southwest corn on the cob, which looks amazing, you guys. Look at that. And then I've got a tub o ranch to eat on the side, but we're just gonna get into this. There's water on the side of my aerial cup to drink, and I went blonde again, you guys, so we're gonna have fun tonight. But I'm really hungry and I want to dip one of these in this ranch. This is an onion petal from Chili's. Let's try it. Ready, 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 ready. Oh, it's drippy. The, my favorite kind of ranch is drippy, runny ranch. I hate thick ranch. Mmm. And those smell so good driving home. Let's try these Texas cheese fries. Now, these kind of did their own thing on the drive home. So they're like grouped together. That's the only reason why like things like nachos and things that come pre-made for you are kind of hard to eat whenever you get home because it might have like congealed together. But this has ranch, cheddar cheese, jalapeno, bacon, green onion. Ready? Okay, let's go. Mmm. Mmm. I just got a really good bite of green onion. That's awesome, you guys. So you guys know that normally I'm like a DoorDash snob and I always have my food delivered to me. But today, when I got off work, it's like, I'm gonna order chilies and go pick it up. Mmm, mmm. The process was so easy, you guys. Like, I did all of my order online. Super simple. So, I really appreciated that. And then, I did it when I was at work, so I, like, planned out my time of what time I was going to be arriving, you know, for the pickup. So, it says whenever you do that, go park in the to-go parking, text us when you get here, and we'll bring out your order. You're not getting away. Dry rub ribs. Oh my gosh. Mm. So anyways, I pulled up. And I was there super early, you guys. I'm always punctual. Like, kind of obnoxiously punctual. You would think I would be late, right? But anyways, so I pulled up in the spot. And I wasn't gonna text them until like you know it was they told it was time to be ready. Mm. Mm. 
but the guy Carlos, I guess like the little to go guy. He immediately came over to my car and I didn't even text him yet. And he's like, who are you picking up an order for? I'm like, Parker. He's like, all right, we'll be right out. I was like, oh my gosh, really? That was like Chick-fil-A kind of service. And then all these other cars pulled up and he was like on them too. So I'm like, good job, Carlos. I always tip really well whenever I do like take out and things like that. So, I mean, I already, it's always a gamble for me though. Cause if you order it online, you have to like tip before you even get there. But I always over tip. Mmm. The jalapenos are good, they're not spicy. And I got my food, he brought it out. It was all there, it was all hot and fresh. So, screw DoorDash. I'm gonna start picking up my own food. These fries are really good, you guys. Oh my gosh, tonight I have to make... Mm. Dozens of my potato tacos. Because I'm going to bring them to work tomorrow for my girls. Mmm. They're such hard workers, and I told him I'd bring him tacos. And I have to work at 6 a.m. tomorrow, you guys, so honestly, after I eat, I'm probably going to go straight to bed because I can make them tonight and they're still good the next day, but it's like better the day that you make them. So I'm probably going to get up super early at like 4 a.m. and make these tacos. I'll boil my potatoes tonight, though. I just like messed that up. So, I know I'm weird. Would you guys eat this in a restaurant? I don't know that I would eat it. I've always been kind of picky with what I eat in public. So, like, a couple of things. I would never eat this in public. I just wouldn't. Like, I, <laughs> I would never eat corn in public. So the fact that I'm about to take a bite in front of you guys, I mean, you're all my friends. It's like kind of a big deal. I mean, would you guys eat this in public? Or am I the only weird one? Mm. <laughs> Is it an invasion of privacy? I just feel like it's like so messy and but this corn is so good, you guys. It's got butter, taco seasoning, cheese, cilantro. Mmm.
Mm-hmm. I'm definitely outside of my comfort zone right now eating this in front of you. <laughs> and the ribs too. Like I would never eat these in public. If I was like really wanting them, I would definitely pull the meat off with a fork. Oh my gosh, I'm so weird. Mm. I'm so messy tonight. Don't forget, you guys, tomorrow we're taking the day off. No videos on Sundays. It's my day. And your day to relax for me. And we keep growing. Welcome to the channel if you're new. I know you're probably totally tired of hearing me say that, but. Gotta welcome the new folks, right? Mm. And this was a half rack, by the way. Fourth of July weekend is coming up, you guys. Are you doing anything? I kind of think I'm going to drive up to Dallas because I'm off. I love filming every day. Is that weird? Like, give me something fun to wake up to. We're definitely getting a lot more comments, so if I'm a little slower at responding, that's why. But I still want to respond to all of you. Because I love you all so much. They gave me a lime, but that looks kind of dead. Okay, let's go back to this awkward corn. When I was younger, I used to make my grandma cut the corn off the cob for me. And then my grandpa, he was like the type of person Who literally ate corn on the cob like a freaking cartoon. Like, I kid you not, my grandpa would take like three or four bites like this. Bite, 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 bite. Like, and he would do that. I think that the cartoon characters are made after my grandpa. <laughs> I love my grandpa so much. And he was also the loudest sneezer in the world. Oh my gosh. And he always used to, like, he was, you know, like a normal, like, he's a very successful businessman. And he was a mayor. Um, but he had the loudest sneeze. And he always used to carry a handkerchief in his pocket. And I actually get so embarrassed whenever he would sneeze in public. And it wouldn't be one. He would always sneeze like four times in a row.
one time in school we were doing this thing and we had like a little city and I did a project on my grandpa because he was a mayor and he helped me run for the mayor position in the campaign mind you guys I was in like fifth grade I had to give a speech and everything in front of the whole student body and I won <laughs> they voted me mayor and I remember my like opponent was this guy named Michael this guy this boy and I was for sure he was gonna win but I won I had the female vote <laughs> That was so much fun, you guys. I miss being in school. If I could do it over again, I definitely would. I have the best childhood, you guys. I think this video might be a little bit longer than the other ones. Mmm. Look what I bought more of. Peter Thomas Ross 24 karat eye gel patches. Those are amazing under the eyes, you guys. They're pricey, but they work. They're so relaxing. I keep them in the refrigerator. But that's another thing I use in the summer. Sorry, I just got a message. Um, that's another thing I use in the summer to help prevent wrinkles because I do lay out in the sun quite heavily. There's all kinds of food falling down my shirt today. Okay, two more bites. Mm. I almost rolled up the cable. Now I need a toothpick. All right, you guys, we're going to call this a video. If you haven't subscribed already, I highly recommend that you consider subscribing. If you want to follow me on other social medias, Instagram is really where I post every day so you can find out what I'm up to. Find out what I'm up to in my everyday life and that's at Parker Spears. <laughs> Parker.Spears. Yeah, know your own Instagram. And then I'll see you in my next video on Monday. We're doing sushi, you guys. Sushi. Another collab with Dulce Foodie and Suave Boo. All right, you guys. I love you. Bye.